Okay. Thank you. All right. Uh, well, I guess my question for you is uh, similar, jumping off of that uh, uh, Star Trek question. Um, the recent franchise uh, that J.J. Am- Abrams yeah. has directed yeah. uh, deals with you know time travel and parallel universes. So, seeing that that uh, the original Spock, um, Leonard Nimoy, is in that franchise. Um, if you were ever approached to, to jump on board to kind of be like a mentor to, you know, your uh, younger self, you know, would you be open to? question I have ever heard. There's no time for an answer. Uh, I, the thing I said to Leonard when I saw his performance was, you know you're old when you go back in time and you're still old. There you go. The, as for me doing something, hey, all he has to do is ask. <laughs> First and foremost, um, you know, you've been on so many iconic projects, whether it's, you know, as we've heard, Seinfeld, Jurassic Park, Toy Story, you know, the list goes on and on. When you're doing a project, what would you say is the one thing that draws you to that project? Because you seem to kind of have like a magic touch in terms of knowing, or you but just you know, can the, never know. The truth of the matter is, you don't know. I mean, like, uh, when I was doing, uh, one of the earliest things I did was Dirty Dancing. And uh, we had no idea. You know, you're uh, in Lake Lure, North Carolina, with a bunch of non-union dancers, and you're at some lodge, and you're thinking, oh, I don't know if anybody will ever see this movie. And then 20 years later, the little girls are still seeing it and crying and whatever, you know? Uh, more than that. So you don't know. I mean, sometimes you do, like Jurassic I think I kind of knew, you know. <laughs> Somebody says you couldn't. Steven Spielberg, Silver, Jurassic yeah. Park, right. you know, no CGI brain. dinosaurs. You no go, brain. all right. Right. Okay. Yeah. Uh, well, uh, you're in, I understand you're in the middle of the third season of uh, yeah. the uh, Exes on uh, on uh, TV Land. Um, can you talk a little bit about what, what fans can expect in terms of the character's arc, you know, go, going forward into the, towards the end of the season? Well, there's two, there's two things that are going on in this season that are, uh, surprises. Uh, one is uh, Haskell, the character that I play, has been very bitter towards his ex-wife uh, for the longest time. Well, she shows up in this season, and something strange happens that causes them to reconnect, uh, which throws him for a loop. And there's going to be a relationship that started among the cast uh, in the show that nobody's foreseeing that will have effects into future seasons. Um, so those are two things you can watch for in the X's. Awesome. Uh, well, aside from exec, uh, uh, X's, um, it, uh, what other projects uh, do you have coming up or th- kind of in the pipeline? Well, I, ironically, I, you know, I was on the dais today with uh, Roseanne Barr. Mm-hmm. And um, Roseanne and, uh, and John Goodman were going, did a pilot that they were going to bring back to NBC, the two of them. And it didn't work out. The cast of that show... Uh, have created a web series called Bitter Party of Five, and uh, my episode is just now coming out on that. Awesome. So, so that's that's something that you can currently watch. All right, awesome. Well, thank you so much, Wayne. Appreciate it. As present day, as present day Roseanne now, mm-hmm. if you look back where you had advice for you know Roseanne maybe ten or fifteen years ago, you know what advice would you give you know now that you're that you have that experience uh, present? What will be something else? Don't ever do the sobriety thing. Uh, well, well, lastly, um, you know, not, not a lot of people are aware of this, but outside of comedy, you know, you carry, you've carried a lot of other hats, whether it's directing, writing, producing, what have you. Um, so, what, what, what's the next, you know, the next um, uh, project that you'll be working on? Are you gonna, you know, continue to to uh, uh, tackle a uh, project using those different hats, or are you gonna, you know, continue to? I don't really know. I, I do five or six things at once, um, and I do them all real bad, and then I don't get any job. <laughs> no, but uh, no, I, I do a lot of things at once. I, I like doing multiple projects and wearing multiple hats, like you said. It's fun. I, you know, doing something different every day has been really fun for ten or so years. All right. Awesome. Well, thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you.